talk to me about what you're witnessing and is it that the, the rains are <clears throat> excuse me the rains are too much or it's uh, like he says of planning is it challenges with our drainage is it that clearing of the drainage has not happened what are we dealing with here okay thank you sir i'm very tickled this morning <clears throat> because uh, they say when you marry a prostitute, uh, when you insist on marrying one, don't complain when they don't turn up at night. This is a case of uh, um, a UDA coalition that we told that clearly good people. What are you talking about? What is the criteria of us arriving at a governor? What are their experience? What have they managed in the past? Are you really um, serious about giving us someone who's academic credentials are in public contestation. Then here, as my friend KJ introducing very complex uh, <coughs> concepts about planning, interpreting uh, urban plans, and so on. Where do you expect this guy to get this kind of competence from? We have to be very serious as Nairobians. We made our bed. We lay on it properly. We have insisted for a very long time on people that do not have any experience of managing anything, let alone managing the biggest city in Eastern Africa. Those are the people that we have insisted ourselves that these are the people that we want to manage the city. Then we come back and ask them com complex questions. No, let us contend with the drama. Let us com contend with the PR st stings, you know, because that is what it is for us. And I think we've said this severally that um, big coalitions, because the issue of a governor is not like the issue of an MCA that can be influenced at a village level. Voters have got nothing to do with deciding who becomes the governor. It is actually the ruling of the big coalitions that decide for us who is going to be the governor, who is going to be the senator, who is going to be the women rep, and so on and so forth. So the least we are expecting for now, we are expecting the UDA part of this bargain to take responsibility for the kind of leadership that they have ensured seats at City Hall. We are not expecting them to be complaining with us as we complain. We are expecting them to do something. If they really feel that this governor is not articulating the UDA manifesto is not doing as it's supposed to be done. Then there's something that we are expecting them to do. Can you imagine the other day we saw uh, the deputy president speaking about people that have got no papers? Clearly, are we serious as a republic? So you have it, you know too well. This particular coalition went all the way to ensure that people possess papers that they do right now. Two years shy, we are now here crying and saying, people who have fake degrees to vacate office, are you kidding us? You know, we see. What, what we, do you mean with that? That they went all out to ensure people who don't have papers have? Yes, this is, this, these issues are, are some. I know, I know you, you're being very judicious, but it is in the public domain that the governor of Nairobi had issues with their academic certificates. Those are issues that are out there. The, 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 there were those issues. So if what, really so you're a political party that, so that believes the in the role. Administration the, the role of that particular administration is clearing people. It is if the, if the political party decides that as part of what we believe in, we are not uh, signing off people that have got criminal records, that have got uh, you know, fake or forged or alleged forged academic credentials. That is a responsibility that we are expecting the UDA political party to take on board. Come out and apologize to Nairobians for entertaining some kinds of things because we know and we knew and we said it that really leading Nairobi requires a particular level of competence. Look at what we keep repeating. Look at what we keep repeating. We, I am not, we are not able to engage a particular uh, people on certain concepts because we lack the evidence of what they have done in the past. What, what, what is there? And, and, and I really like saying this. Nairobi has, has shamed us for a very long time. If you look at the kind of governors other even humbler counties are bringing on board, you, you, you cannot really uh, uh, compare with what we fall in love with as Nairobians. And we do this, and then two years uh, down the line, we are here asking for, for urban plans. We are here asking for complex concepts. Why are we, why are we expecting these guys to possess? Why, at, uh, what, leadership is not grown like beans. You're not expecting that someone grew it in, 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 in six months, that now they are this kind of a leader that appreciates all these kinds of things. Nairobians, we really need, we really need to be serious. Um, Honorable KJ, welcome on board. The other part of the, of the issue is that the Nairobi members of parliament, the Nairobi members of parliament, we really need them to start pronouncing themselves on these matters. I sat in the last uh, uh, dispensation, and I didn't like this concept of uh, the members of parliament saying, 
you know, uh, we, we, we are elected to serve our constituents. There is nobody, there is no Mazare constituent mm -hmm. and a county government of Nairobi constituent. So I really want to invite the members of parliament <coughs> of Nairobi to know that the public is expecting hmm. that you come out and tell um, this county, how do we move forward as Nairobi? And, and I'm very glad when I saw uh, the UDA brigade coming out because these are the same people that worked with, with Sakaja on tracks and convincing us that, that this, this is how the, the, the county should be managed. Okay. So don't leave it uh, for certain people. <clears throat> It's, it's really a, a welcome idea to see that uh, the Nairobi members of parliament are coming on board and saying, no, this is not what we said. So, because the, the remaining two and a half years are too much some if you want to think about uh, the haphazard, the impromptu, uh, uh, the, uh, Honorable KJ is calling it Kyududo. If you think about Kyududo, you know that uh, haphazard uh, sort of management, and you think about the health sector of this county, it, 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 it's not possible. And you think about the education sector. You cannot do uh, those kinds of sectors that way. You right. ought to have a plan that you implement with fidelity, back it up with funding, and, and, and correct monitoring and evaluation procedures. All right. Uh, 